Are you involved in the wedding planning or are you leaving it to her? I'm involved for sure. Um, but I'm involved in things that like I think I should be involved in. So like band approval, like mm -hmm. the old radio host in me needs band approval, uh, food approval, booze approval. Um, <laughs> All I don't the care important the, things. Yeah, I don't care about <laughs> the flowers. Uh, that doesn't matter to me. Um, and then guest list, you know, that's I, I'm involved in that. But everything okay. else is just basically Sarah. Yeah, you guys have been together for for four years now. Four years in, what do you love most about her? Um, well, she's got like seven different laughs and I've been trying to break them all down into oh. what each laugh means. Um, and so weirdly enough, like I do love like all her different laughs. Um, okay. Yeah, we're a good team if I'm being, I know that's not romantic, but it's an important mm -hmm. thing when you're getting married to someone, you need to make sure you guys are, uh, you know, like fighting for each other and uh, super supportive. And I found that we we're we are really good at that because, you know, we're in similar businesses, but not really, but we both need to be each other's champion. A bunch of great laughs. A bunch of great laughs and a good team. I do feel like having someone who's your teammate is honestly, I know you said it's not romantic, but it is the most important thing. Yeah. Um, have you guys been approached? She's also super hot. Super she's hot. She's so pretty. <laughs> like, she is just so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you guys ever been approached to do a reality show? You know, we actually, we pitched a show and it didn't get picked up. So who what? knows? Maybe. Yeah. What'd you guys pitch? I'm so cute. I would have watched this. Yeah, it was like a game show kind of a thing. Um, and yeah, no one, no one picked it up. So... I don't know. Maybe maybe next year we'll get one. It's so funny because I feel like sometimes the door closes and then you have to wait a little bit and then that door potentially, possibly could reopen. So my fingers are still crossed about this. Tell us um, about this tournament of champions, the celebrity golf tournament. Yeah, so this is the uh, Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions. Um, Sounds so fancy. I know. It's... Uh, it, and it is fancy. I'm here at Lake Nona Country Club uh, in Orlando and it's beautiful. And so, yeah, I'm going to be playing with some amazing LPGA players, some lady, some lady pros. And so we're just doing some press, getting everyone ready for it. And there'll be a bunch of celebrities. I don't know. I, I'm not one of those, but uh, I'm going to be there. <laughs> um, and so a lot of baseball players and uh, football players and reality stars and all the like. So we're going to have some fun. What a good group. I know Ben Higgins is also on board, right? Ben's the one who got me into this thing. Oh. Um, yeah. So I was at his uh, his bachelor party golf trip in Cabo and he started telling me about this tournament. And I was like, you've got to get me in. So there's going to be a little side action uh, between Ben and I, which is, uh, is going to be fun. We we saw you um, at the Jonas Brothers Netflix roast. <laughs> yeah. What did what can you tell us from behind the scenes? What was going on? Pete Davidson is as handsome in person <laughs> as he is on television. That's what I can tell you. That's He's very good. tall. I understand. I get it, Kim. Okay, I get. It. Are you a fan of this relationship, the Kim and Pete? Yeah. Like I don't know what's next though for Pete. You know, like. He's a busy man. The queen, like what? What happens next? For <laughs> Pete Davis? He maybe he breaks up Prince William and Kate Middleton. There it is. That's it's a big right story. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.